New at six, take a look at this car just mangled after a violent crash. Somehow the woman inside survived. And it's all thanks to a new program that first responders just rolled out in Orange County. Yeah, paramedics were able to give her life's saving blood transfusions on the scene. Fox 35's Marie Edinger was there when that woman was able to thank her heroes. Lori and Sydney McMahon were heading to dinner one night. They went to make a left-hand turn, saw a car speeding towards them. Okay, I was driving towards my lane, and somebody crossed the street on their car, and they got hit. And woke up in the hospital. For you to see your children still, yeah, and for your children to have an opportunity to say, I love you, Mom, again, is really special. Lori is alive today, thanks in large part to Captain Diana Alexander. I'm so grateful. The two reunited at an Orange County Fire Rescue Station on Thursday. Lori, fresh out of the hospital. And they talked about what it took to save Lori's life. If they had not given me blood, I wouldn't have had any vital signs. Yeah. Lori is the first patient to recover after benefiting from a new program Orange County Fire Rescue is implementing. Paramedics were able to recognize she had internal hemorrhaging and give her a blood transfusion right there on scene before she even got to the hospital. I'm so glad this program was implemented because I can only imagine how many more lives you guys are going to save. Orange County has three captains who carry two liters each of O positive blood with them in these coolers. The blood is good for about two weeks. If any goes unused after 10 days or so, they'll take it back to the hospital where it'll get used that day and trade it out for fresh blood. In an instant, any one of us can find ourselves on the receiving end of a blood transfusion. The senior VP of communications with One Blood says Lori serves as an example of why it's so important to donate blood, especially if you're O positive or O negative. Blood donors played a huge role in helping give her the second chance at life and to be here for her family. In Orange County, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.